have a seat done. And once you've done that, you're pretty much set to go for the assignments. And so what will happen is that That's what you are going to be essentially tested on. So our assignments and assessment, if you look on camera. Good morning, so it is currently Wednesday. It is eight o'clock right now. I have a lecture at 10. I have to prime Start for that because I didn't get to do any readings yesterday. So I'll be doing that right now. Since we're going into like proper work now and rather than moving on from all of the intros and stuff, um, I find that priming my lectures really helps and I definitely need to keep on top of that this year. So what priming is for me is just reading all of the lecture material and anything that I think will help me later on. Generally they will provide some stuff for me um, at this stage, like required readings, um, even just the lecture slides just so that I have a general idea of what I'm going into. Even priming like a little bit makes a huge difference in a my learning during the lecture because uh, then I have a foundation to sort of build up on. So yeah, I'll be doing that um, before the lecture. And yeah, today will be a very busy study day so I hope I can be productive and I hope you're productive too. <laughs> so this is how I kind of prime my lectures. Um, I go through whatever they provide prior to the actual lecture. So this one they provided the lecture slides before the lecture and yeah you can just use this info to sort of prime yourself um, for the next day so whether you can take in anything from here or you need to read further in other textbooks and I just find that's like really helpful before you go into a lecture just because at least you sort of know what you're getting yourself into and what you're going to be learning and it's sort of nice to like say if you familiarize yourself with certain optical properties and then when they actually teach you about everything that's needed to know about optical properties then you would sort of have a prior understanding and it's better to build on prior understanding than just learning off the bat if that makes sense this is sort of what the lecture looks like really briefly so we've just got like a lot of things in here um obviously during the lecture this is a lot to take in so it's definitely very good to just read beforehand and then learn it in lecture. I think we're getting into a weird area here. So I've just finished up with that lecture which took a very long time. This lecturer talks very, very slowly and it's very monotonous. Yeah, but I am done with this and it was just basically a lecture on like what exactly is language and like social norms and how this builds 
to create language and how there's different speech communities and it's how diverse it is um, and yeah just talking about how like languages are not homogenous so yeah tomorrow will be a lot of midsight and cardiovascular stuff it's gotten so rainy so sad it's gotten so rainy so this is what's on the to-do list today I don't have too many lectures today, I think I have around two, so so today will be mostly a study day plus organizing and also some cleaning. Tortellini we'll be using. But. Ow. <laughs> Ow. All I said was, I really feel like a singer burger. <laughs> what is that? Right now I'm going through my pre-readings for the lecture. Basically all the stuff that we've learned in the past two years, but really condensed into one lecture. Are there any of you who are brave enough to put your hand up and say there's some aspects of this figure that I don't understand? Because this is the septum between your left and your right ventricle, and then you've got this bit of the heart, which is the so called postural lateral wall. I thought that I must have taken it and I forgot that I'd taken it. Yeah, I forgot that I'd taken it. Toby! Toby! 